Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another deck showcase. Today we're showing you an updated version of Gem Knights. So before we get any further into the video I'm just going to say right now I still think Gem Knights suck after going through a ton of different lists to try and find a really consistent list. This is the best I could find and it kind of sucks because it has a very hard time dealing with backline cards. Not to mention this deck actually needs you to have a decent starting hand for it to pop off otherwise you'll just have a bunch of default monsters in your hand that do absolutely nothing without their fusion spell counterparts. But after saying all that, this deck is a lot of fun to use. If you enjoy just recycling fusion monsters over and over and over and continually fusion summoning like 4 or 5 fusion summons in one turn, this is the deck for you. So as this is not a deck guide, I do want to get over this really quick so that we can get straight into the gameplay. But I am going to talk about some of the new Gem Knight cards so you kind of have an understanding of what they do before you start trying to use them. So probably the most important new addition to Gem Knights is the new fusion spell, Gem Knight Fusion. This card is essentially just a normal polymerization except it's only for gem knights and when it's in the graveyard you can banish one gem knight from your graveyard to add it back to your hand. So the really important thing about this card is it can help you nearly go infinite with your fusion summons. Combine this with the effects of gem knight lazuli and gem knight obsidian allows you to have multiple fusion summons in one turn. As these two monsters basically just recycle cards back to your hand or put them onto the board from your graveyard. The next two big additions to the Gem Knight archetype are the two big fusion monsters, Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond and Gem Knight Lady Lapis Lazuli. Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond is probably the most powerful Gem Knight monster added to the game so far in that her effect allows you to trade up any Gem Knight monster you have, this could be some generic normal monster, for any of your fusion monsters in your extra deck. As what her effect does is it allows you to send one face up Gem Knight monster you control to the graveyard and special summon one Gem Knight Fusion monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Generally you want to combo this card with Gem Knight Obsidian as when you fusion summon Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond using Gem Knight Obsidian, you can then add one normal monster from your graveyard to the board to then be used with Lady Brilliant Diamond's effect. Gem Knight Lady Lapis Lazuli has a much different effect to the other Gem Knights and most of the time she just does a ton of chip damage whilst allowing you to continue your recycling of fusion monsters. So her effect allows you to send one gem knight monster from your main deck or extra deck to the graveyard and if you do inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points for each special summoned monster on the field. So generally the card you want to send to the graveyard will be gem knight lazuli as this card will then allow you to add one normal monster from your graveyard back to your hand to continue the fusion summoning. Keep in mind though, it can be useful to send a fusion monster to the graveyard if you have Gem Knight Master Diamond on the board, as then you can use his effect with that card. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for the talking part of this video. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. I do either a showcase or a deck guide every week. The rest of this video will just be showing off 5 gameplays of this deck in action. Some of them are a little basic, some of them are quite advanced of me just spamming to show you how many fusion summons you can actually do in a turn. It's a lot of fun to play this deck, can be kind of hard to get your head around at first but it's generally pretty simple once you've had a few games. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.